six nothing Arsenal. Look at that expected goal. Nobody lays down. Uh, 0 0.21 <laughs> expected Goodness. goals for West Ham. They made changes at the half. It did not matter as Arsenal ran rampant there with a 6-0 victory to take all three points. And what does it mean at the top of the table? Well, at least for the moment, Arsenal have pulled even with Manchester City, tied there in second and just uh, two points behind your league leaders, Liverpool. For more on this, let's welcome into the show Don Hutchison. Don, uh, what's the first order of business here? Heaping praise on Arsenal or hammering your former club, West Ham? No, I think heap a bit on Arsenal. I think not so much to win the goal difference. They scored six because they've got up to 31, uh, the same as Man City. I think they're a point behind, uh, goal behind Liverpool at the same time. So they've closed the gap in terms of the goal difference. The performance was brilliant. I mean, if you want to go on West Ham, they were horrendous. I mean, it could have been nine or ten. I thought a defending was atrocious from either set plays or crosses into the box. It's unlike a David Moyes side. They very rarely get walloped. They're actually in decent form in terms of probably since about November-ish. Um, but it was all Arsenal today. And Arsenal, I think, produced away from home probably a statement win. you agree with that, Stevie? 6-0 yeah, away from home. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's no doubt that, that Arsenal are lacking a goal-scoring centre-forward. But if you're going to score as many goals as they have done this season from set-pieces, you can't do anything other than praise them. Mm -hmm. You know, set-pieces are part of the game. And, and, and most people don't take enough notice of it and work hard enough on it. And clearly, Arsenal are working on it. I mean, that 16 goals is incredible. How important is that for title race, Champions League, that kind of stuff? Is, is that where you get those Dude. kind of decisive moments? Well, well it's, it's points. It's points is, is what it means. You know, you're, 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 getting a, you're getting a set piece goal to win a game. It's two more points than you, than you would have had. So, yeah. But as I said, not enough teams take it on board or don't, don't, don't treat it as important as they should. Mm. Because without those 16 goals, Arsenal's not in the title race. That's how important that is. Yeah. And to that end, Stevie, I would also go as far as to say, if you're going to recognise the qualities of Arsenal and the set pieces, you also have to say that that takes work. It's not by accident. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not that you just show up and say, hey, guys, so let's just swing it in. You see variety in their set pieces, sometimes a little... Too much variety in their set pieces, but you see movement inside the 18-yard box. That it, sometimes they start at the far post, sometimes they near, they start at the near post, sometimes they're withdrawn at the penalty spot. The quality of the service is there. The quality and the pace with which this, the service, how it is driven into an area in which you have players from Arsenal attacking that area. All of that takes work, and all of that takes a coaching staff and a manager that stresses this as an important part of the game. And to your question, ultimately, when you get to a point in, say, for example, Champions League, where you need to decide whether you stay or you go home, yes, a set piece may just be the difference, particularly if indeed you don't have that center forward, that guy that could make up that difference, that guy that could score that big goal. Where can it come from? They all count the same, by the way. A set piece goal or a or, or top corner goal, they all count the same. So the Declan Rice goal today, is called, it, it counted the same as the headers, right? And so if you're Arsenal, you take this as part of your repertoire. You take this as part of who you are as a team. You continue to build on this. And of course, when you win 6 nothing anywhere, whether it's at home or away from home, it builds confidence. You feel a whole lot better about yourself. As for West Ham, they lay down today. Mm. They quit. They quit. They lay down. And I don't say that easily and lightly, because as a former professional, it takes a lot for me to say that. But you watch some of the attitude today from West Ham, they lay down. Uh, let's get back to Arsenal real quick. I mean, they do seem to have figured something out. There was that stretch at the end of 2023 where they just couldn't get anything right. Since the turn of the calendar year, I mean, they're, they're blowing past teams. They got 16 yeah. goals in their last four Premier League games. After what we saw today, does it change kind of your evaluation of Arsenal for the title race? No. Really? Even, no. even what we've seen over the last month hasn't convinced you? No, because they are missing that goal-scoring centre-forward. You know, the, I said that the reason they're in the title race is because of all those goals from set pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, Why can't they keep that up? Well, because you can't rely on getting set pieces all the time. You can't rely on defenders not doing their job. You can't rely on, in particular, Johnson from West Ham taking a step back for the second goal. You can't rely on that. But what you can rely on is if you've got a 25-goal-a-season centre-forward. So it's just a little thing. Mm. 
And it's going to be little things that, that decide the title race. And unfortunately, I think that little thing called a goal scoring centre forward is what's going to cost Arsenal. What kind of chances do you give them to win the title if you had to put a percentage on it? Uh, I think they're, they're in third place. Um, percentage? Ooh, 25, maybe. 25, okay. For the, for the third place team, that's pretty good. Let's go to our percentages. Oh, expert. Uh, expert here, Don <laughs> Hutchison. Don Hutchison, uh, over under Stevie's 25% for Arsenal to win the league after the 6 0 today. Absolutely bang on. I'm going Man City 50, Liverpool 25, Arsenal 25. And I think it's about time, unless Stevie's going to be really stubborn, that I'm going to hold my hand up when Jurgen Klopp and Arsene, uh, not Arsene Wenger, uh, Mikel Arteta, um, Unai Emery, they employed a set-piece coach. And me and Stevie sat on this show and went, a set-piece coach? A set-piece coach? Well, look now, fast forward a couple of years, how important a set-piece coach is. So I'm willing to put my hand up. I'm not sure about Stevie. Well, I wouldn't have had said it, but I never said that. I was talking about the goalie <laughs> you coach. You did! I was a goalkeeper. I, mean, I think oh, the throwing coach was still throwing. writing about the throwing, I mean, the, sorry, the, the throwing the, coach. Sorry, the throwing coach. Yeah, that's yeah, right. No, throwing set, coach, my throwing. Not the set-piece coach, no. Yeah. You're all about the set-piece coach. Sorry, dog. Do you know, <laughs> sorry, dog. <laughs> that's all right. Do you, do you know what, though, Sebi? I had a chat with an Arsenal fan today, and we both come to the conclusion, when you look at Arsenal, they're a fabulous side. And when you look at Liverpool, fabulous side. But when you talk about Man City you're talking about a juggernaut and you're talking about a manager that can have Jeremy Doku on the left-hand side. He can have Jack Grealish on the left-hand side. He's got Haaland. He's got Alvarez. The substitutes, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, Carl Walker. That's the difference when we're having a conversation about who can win the league. It's not because Arsenal are a bad side and they might be flaky and they might bottle it. It's because City are a juggernaut and they're streets ahead of anyone else. They've just gone, I think, 10 wins in 10 in all competitions. I think six on the spin in the Premier League, it's what they do. They're so good. <laughs> the camera's about to collapse on Don. <laughs> yeah, it's a shaker in the West Ham defence there.